tail it is your tiny mouth to feel the warmth of your embrace. Hey guys, good morning. I hope you guys can hear me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hi guys. Good morning. So, today is another day and this is this is two days i'm actually at the train station now and this is two days after i went for the interview and <laughs> was it two days was it? yeah i think it's two days so i went and i came it was a long one apparently i went there like an hour 30 minutes earlier i initially thought the interview was for 12 i didn't know it was for I thought it was for one. I didn't know it was for one thirty, and I was told to arrive there an hour earlier in order to, you know, part of the interview is one hour of listening and observing, because that would like inform the interview. I after that, then we went into the interview for another one hour. <laughs> oh my God, the interview was long. It was so long. They were asking serious questions. And you see, like I said, you know, I woke up that morning and I said I spent two hours before preparing, like going online, looking at interview questions, you know, to prepare for, especially for the role I'm applying to. I have never done that. Usually I just go and I wing it and, it and it works out. But this time I was so intentional. I felt like the list was like, you need to be intentional about this because, you know, yesterday, you no, know, two days ago when I was leaving, I, I kept telling you guys that I had a good feeling about it. And I just, I just had a knowing that I can't, I can't mess this up, okay? I know that God is going to do a miracle, but I also have to do my part, right? And prepare so that, you know, opportunity will meet preparation, right? So, anyway, so I prepared so much. And I will tell you, everything I prepared for two hours before I left the house were the same questions that were asked. What was the time? My train will be here in five minutes. Were the same questions that were asked and more but because i had prepared it was easy for me i you know the scenarios questions that i prepared for i'd already had them in my mind so as soon as they were asking the questions you know i was just answering them and then they were asking like oh why do you want to work here that morning i just accidentally um i did accidentally i was actually researching about the company and i saw a video on youtube that talks about their culture and stuff like that i watched that video and i watched the videos of other branches you know what people are saying about them and all of that i'm like okay i already have a reason but this is an additional reason like the culture the company's culture and all of that now i have like inside that information i can reference right so I knew I was prepared, okay? The next thing that I was really worried about was my nerves because I tend to get very nervous. I've told you guys this before. I'm very comfortable talking on camera, but I'm very nervous talking face to face. Yeah. So sometimes my nerves give me away. Right, so I was really, I think this is my brain. Um, okay. We'll continue the gist later. My train is almost here. I was really really worried about my nerves but thankfully um i was able to put under control we okay as far as i was concerned you know i did everything that is expected of me and then at the end you know i couldn't tell because the lady that was interviewing me and my husband used to say this this is one thing about the people over here somehow when i have an interview and it goes well i know even in the u.s i know when i've done well but this time but most of the interviews i've done here it's so difficult to tell so beautiful i love looking at sites don't mind me it's so difficult to tell if you've done well enough but i decided to just keep up keep hope and keep the faith that i have done what i could do and i knew i did enough and the wait began i tried so much not to think about it because i had you know my school class project that i needed to work on so i wanted to just 
focus on that get those one that one submitted and not think about the interview which i think successfully i tried <laughs> i don't know if i was successful because i kept dreaming about or wondering is there anything i should have done better are there any things that you know anyways i waited and then the next day i was in the library i was working on my paper in short i'd finished i was so happy because i didn't think um the deadline is actually tomorrow I didn't think I'll be able to, you know, finish writing that paper yesterday, but I was so glad when I eventually hit that over 5,000 words. So I knew, okay, I was done. And I was packing up, about to leave. I got an email that, you know, from somebody. Funny enough, okay, I don't know if I told you guys, that this is not the first time I applied to this company. I've applied to them before when I was in the U.S. But I, I did the, the first stage was actually a video interview, right? I did that one, and then we're supposed to do a call, which was literally the second stage before the face-to-face. -face. But during the call, because I was still in the U.S., they couldn't call international number. It was messed up. The person I was supposed to meet was the person that sent me the email. It's not the person that interviewed me yesterday. It's not the person I spoke to the first day. I was supposed to meet the first time. That's in June when I first applied to this company. Anyway, she reached out to me via email that she's been trying to call me now. Before I came here, I was applying for jobs. So was my husband. So in order for you to be considered, you need to have a UK line. So there's a way you can buy a UK number from Kite. I believe. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, from Skype. So that was what I did. I bought a UK number. So when they call, it will come in through Skype and you pick up. So, anyways, I forgot to change that number on the profile that they have on me on their web on the application site. So when they were calling this time, they were calling that number to give me a response. So, anyways, I got an email that they've been trying to reach out to me and they couldn't reach out to me. They couldn't get through to me. So immediately I saw that email, like immediately, I saw it immediately came in and four minutes later, I sent them an email that, okay, this is my new number. You can reach me through this number. I even tried to call the number of the person who tried to reach out to me. I was worried that, you know, I wasn't sure if it was good news or bad news because I'm like, okay, if it's good news, why didn't you just send it via email? Instead of emailing me that you were calling me to tell me the response. So I kind of felt it was good news because if it was bad news, normally they would have sent we regret, blah, blah, blah. But then again, you can't be so sure. So now I was worried. And then I was waiting for the call. I stayed in the library for over three hours extra, hoping that they would call back because I didn't want them to call me. I was going to the market. I didn't want them to call me when I was, you know, in the store or whatever. But they didn't call. So I went home to my husband. My husband said it's most likely good news. Oh, did I forget to tell you guys that? <laughs> During the first stage, after the first stage interview, my husband told me that I had already gotten the job, that he had seen me, you know, already working there, basically. So, that was a vote of confidence, okay? <laughs> so, I already had that vote of confidence, but of course, you cannot be too sure about anything. So, we just saw, so the next morning, I woke up, I tried, I don't even know, I was working on my computer, I was editing, that was yesterday morning, yesterday morning, I was editing, and then... I waited. I was kind of waiting for the call, but I didn't say so. Somehow I forgot about it. And then it was around 12 p.m. that I got the call. Immediately I saw the number I knew was them. And then, you know, there was the lady that I said I was supposed to interview with initially. We never spoke. We only communicated via email. And then she was like, um, you know, they had the interview. She was calling to give me feedback. This time my heart was doing geeky. My heart was beating so bad. And then she was like, well, she's calling me with good news that they were impressed with my, you know, my interview and my skills, my experience, blah, blah, blah. And they wanted to offer me the job. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so I was offered the job. But yesterday, no, on Tuesday, that's two days ago, when I went to the place, they asked me to come with my IDs. And I did. They asked me to come with my national insurance number which I did, but apparently they asked me to come with evidence of national insurance, so not just the number, they wanted the letter, the national insurance letter that I got from the home office, that was the only document I did not come with, and apparently they need to see all my documents 
physically for them to be able to even give me an offer of employment. So the lady said, if I, if I was successful, they would ask me to bring it back. So anyway, so she, yesterday she called me. We agreed on the days that I'll be working because obviously you guys know I can't work full time. I can only work 20 hours. So we agreed on all of those. And then she told me that before they cannot give me a contract currently because they don't have all of my documents. I need to bring the evidence of national insurance for them, to them rather, physically, for them to see. So that's where I'm going now. <laughs> I'm literally traveling an hour just to go and show them a document and come back home. That's all I'm going to do, going to do right now. But I'm really excited that it worked out. Um, and I hope I've not been talking to myself because of the noise in this train. I hope you guys have been hearing me. But I'm glad that it worked out. I'm really excited to you know, start this journey, to actually kickstart my career. Because since I stopped working in the U.S. in August, yeah. I stopped working in August till now. I haven't done anything. I'm not resuming yet. I still have about a month to resume. Um, but it just feels good. And they still have to do their DBS check, which I'm not worried about. I don't have any criminal record. And they need to do some other pre-employment checks and stuff. But they verbally offered me the role. Um, and then after I submit or I show them this document, they will be sending an email with a concrete offer and then they'll do their checks and all the things that needs to be done and then i'll start training training would take about two weeks i think and then work will start now the only downside to this job is because of my schooling and the hours that i get to work i was offered a few like three days to work four days or five days right and I'm definitely not doing five days because I'm traveling an hour. Four days was a stretch for me because the only reason I couldn't choose the four days was because my um, my class, okay? The four days involved Thursdays and Thursdays this semester is a very, very busy day for me. So um, I was able to choose other days, right? Now, the problem with the other days is I have to work, you know, afternoon to night, not evening afternoon to nine and I don't know how that's going to work but I'm really excited to see at least to be honest you see one thing about here is getting that first job is always the problem I don't think that was the case for me really I just really felt like God did not want me to work that entire last year I knew that that was a season for me to rest and to you know try to help my husband because my husband needed a lot of help because he was working a lot and I needed to be there for him. So I felt like God was intentional about me not working. I kind of knew. Every time I was applying for a job last year, I just felt like I was wasting my time, <laughs> really. And I wasn't really serious about it, to be honest. I would apply for a job today. The next time I would apply would probably be in three weeks' time and all of that. And, it, you know, we regret, we regret. I was getting. If I get a we regret today, I won't apply until, like, two weeks' time and all of that. And, of course, I was only able to you know, do that because my husband was, you know, he was working and we're doing okay. Um, but obviously now we have a lot of things we need to start doing. And also it's not just about the money for this job because really it's not a lot because I'm only allowed to work 20 hours. However, it's the fact that this is the first job I'm getting in the UK. It's in a very, one of the largest companies um, here. And then, um, it's a good way to keep start my career. It's not in the field that I'm used to. It's not in, like, anyways, I don't want to give too much away, but I'm really excited. When the time comes, I'll share more. But for now, that's it. So since we started this journey together, I thought I might as well just let you guys know how everything went. So, yeah, your girl is finally employed <laughs> right now. Anyways, that's that about that. So right now, I'm on my way, and then I'll show you guys, or I'll update you guys how it goes, okay? God, I can't believe I've slept for this long. Good morning, guys. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Mm. I'm tired. How can I be tired? I just woke up. I'm not tired in Jesus' name. <sighs> Hi, guys. So, I don't even know why I took camera to record. Though. 
I feel like I've not I've not really been in a mood or in the, I don't know. I've just not vlogged this year. Um apart from the interview one. Whew, wow. Uh so my husband has gone to work this morning. So I've woken up earlier. But I am just waking up. It's almost 12 p.m. I don't have a class today. So that's good. We have actually been on break in school. And I think one of the reasons why I've not vlogged is because I had assessments that were due last week. So I have been so busy working on them. At a point, I had to travel to diverse cities, like four cities in the UK to go and interview people for my assessment. So it's been a busy time for me. Um, so I, I I was not in the mood to even, <laughs> to even pick up camera and do anything. I just wanted to get the assessment over and with, over and done with. And immediately I submitted the last one. In short, it was even before I submitted the last one. Whilst I was working on that, then the interview also, I had to prepare for that go to those, do all of that, and then come back and finish my assessment. I finally finished on Wednesday and submitted the last one. So now we're just waiting for feedback. But school has actually been on break. Even though I've been going to the library and I've been sleeping in the library for weeks. But school has resumed this week. I was supposed to have a class today and suddenly they changed it to another day. So that's how come I'm home. And I'm really glad because the weather is really cold today but apart from the coldness it's not as cold as it has been um it's like one degree but apart from that there's this dangerous wind we've been on high, high what do you call it severe wind alert though there's like severe wind those wind i used to i don't know if you've seen those videos of those wind i used to push people so it's not that you can even hear the wind I'm not sure you guys can hear it because I'm talking, but you can hear the wind outside. It's very bad. So I didn't want to go out today and I'm not going out today. So I'm just going to watch TV. I made fried rice today. I'll eat. Should I need to pack that fried rice inside the fridge? I made it last night. Um, my husband said that's what he wants to take to work. <laughs> so in the morning, I made shawarma after church in the afternoon. Then in the evening, I made fried rice. So... I'll just eat that, make some tea, you know, pull my blanket up on the chair and just watch Korean series till my husband gets back from work. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to enjoy this season now that I have not resumed work because I will be resuming work in about a month's time. So, not a month, yeah, a month-ish. So... Now that I don't have that, I've not, in short, it's one month from today. So now that work has not resumed, I want to take time and just, you know, rest enough and prepare myself for that journey. So that's all I'm going to say today. I'm not sure. I'm, there's nothing to record today because I'm, I'm not really doing anything. So... I'll see you in the next one. This is definitely the beginning of a new vlog. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Okay. Bye. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we did laundry yesterday. My husband does not like his clothes staying in the washing machine to the following day. Left to me. It's the next day. I'll come and pick it. I'll come and pack it. Well, he woke up in the middle of the night. To fold the clothes, I have to put them away. Anyways, today is not. This is what we are dealing with today. This is what we are enjoying today, and some orange juice. I knew I said I was going to make tea, but I decided to take juice first, then I'll make tea later. So, what do we watch? Let's see what's showing on Netflix. I was watching one Korean movie. See you in my 19th life. 
it's not it's not amazing but it's not so bad either hmm. so let me eat watch tv put my blankets on my body and i'll talk to you guys later Thank you.